Hey students of Purdue, welcome back to another episode. This week we're going to be talking about the track team. Uh, I have a little clip for you that I prepared, so check it out. I've been running track for as long as I can remember. Both my sister and I ran, and then around seventh grade, I started throwing. My buddy was throwing a sandal in the infield, and I asked him what he was doing. He said he was throwing discus. I asked him if he could teach me. He said yes. That's history. In middle school, I broke the middle school record. High school, I broke the freshman record. I was close to the sophomore record. COVID year hit, so you didn't get a junior year. Senior year came around. I won state. I threw a mark of 182, 183 feet. Honestly, I don't remember. It's been a while. And Purdue was my number one option. But at the time, I hadn't received any looks. I tried to contact the coach that I emailed, but to no avail. As soon as I got off the podium at the state meeting, I was interviewed by the Indiana Star. I told them I was gonna go to Indiana State because I had not heard from Purdue. And then as soon as I finished the interview, I went over to speak to my dad and he was standing with the Purdue coach. And they said, we want you at Purdue. My situation is a little bit different because we didn't have a girls coach at the time. As soon as I finished state and I graduated high school, I went off to the military, came back, I started in the spring semester. I was the only new guy on the team. I don't have any signing papers because every Everything happened back to back, so I just didn't have time. We practice every day. We lift on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. The times vary because everyone's schedule is a little bit different. Time commitment's pretty big, but of course, it's a Division One athletics. It's the best of the best. Kind of have to expect that. Practices are usually between an hour and a half to two hours. Lifts are usually about an hour to an hour and a half. The weight room is busy, so you want to get in and get out. There are a bunch of cool opportunities that we have available to us. We get a lot of gear, a lot of Nike gear. Nike. Um, every semester, and usually before we actually start competing, we'll get another big pack of gear. So that we're always uh, in fresh Nike gear and look our best with Purdue. Three different pairs of shoes, other than my actual like throwing shoes. Probably around like eight to 10 t-shirts, maybe 15. I have like four or five hoodies of these. We have a bunch of hats. One of the, one of the cool parts of being an athlete, you get to travel pretty much the entire nation. And in some cases, depending on what sport you are, you get to travel the world. The women's basketball team got to play in Mexico, <laughs> literally like two weeks ago. We have these little food stations called fuel stations. They have a bunch of snacks, like Nutri-Grain bars, you get Greek yogurt, protein shakes, all types of Gatorades, like a fountain Gatorade, and we all get these Gatorade bottles. There's a bunch of food, like bagels, like pretty much anything you need that's mostly nutritious, and they all have a nutritious value, so that you can always eat. You, most of the time, you always want to eat because you're burning up so many calories. So it's important to stay hydrated and fueled up so that you're ready to go. Can't miss meals, you can't afford to. It's, your body needs the energy. It is free for the student athletes and we also have like a little cafeteria called J9. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, there's food available. Like three different options. I have like a soup, a sandwich, and like a power bowl. It could be like, like a, breakfast power bowl or walking taco power bowl and then we'll have the option of two different kinds of smoothies and you can also add protein to the smoothies. We have three swipes a week. I believe it starts at 10 30 and ends at like 2 30. They make it for you. So that's a little bit about my life as a student athlete here at Purdue. I want to thank you for watching and thank you for setting aside some of your time of your day. That's a wrap.